live here because this town is an absolute hole on the outskirts of Detroit. Last year alone, the city's murder rate went up 19% and shootings went up a full 53%. Those numbers are staggering, and since they're right at the edge of one of the most dangerous cities in the country, this is a much better thing to train her for instead of the city dollars. I also would have been studying the psychologist Lazlo Polgar, who raised his daughters to become the most famous female chess prodigies the world has ever seen. He used their entire childhood to prove that if you took the right approach, you could turn any healthy newborn into a genius, and he did this three times in a row. Now, chess doesn't provide any direct survival skills, but critical thinking and predicting someone's decisions are definitely a plus when your life is in danger, and that kind of lateral thinking can be applied to this girl's education as well. There are a lot of things a war veteran could teach you about reading other people's behavior to anticipate a threat, and it would have been much more useful knowledge to a girl this age. She could also use those skills to play strategy games online, because sometimes it's important to just enjoy yourself without being judged. Like with today's sponsor, MPL Mobile Premier League. MPL Mobile Premier League is an amazing play win money gaming app that lets you actually win real cash. It has all your favorite games in one place, so you can decide what you're in the mood for. If you're extra competitive, you'll love playing head-to-head -head directly against other players or in one of their multiplayer tournaments. Choose any game to play and receive cash rewards if you win. If you love basketball like me, there's nothing like the feeling of watching the ball sink into the hoop every time you shoot. Hoops is a basketball game where you and your opponent shoot hoops on the same court and compete for a higher score. Being able to play it all day and with money at the same time is awesome. I found that precision and patience were the most important elements in order to win. And users get matched against other players based on their skill level, so you can still win even if you're getting started. MPL ensures that users' gameplays and payments are protected. All the cash won by use for keeps and can be easily withdrawn to PayPal or bank account in a very reliable and smooth process. Download now from the link in the description and get a $5 bonus when you sign up. You can even get up to a $20 bonus reward for each friend you invite to join the app. The MPL app is available for free on both the iOS App Store and for Android on the MPL website. And it's just a great app to play, compete, enjoy your favorite games, and earn money while having fun. Share this app with your friends, must be 18 or older to play. Later that day, this woman Hernandez comes to pick up some plants and asks the blind man if his daughter will join her today, but he refuses to let her out. The woman warns him that if he doesn't give his daughter freedom, she's going to rebel, and the man knows she's right. Going back inside, he tells his daughter she can go into town, but they have no idea this trip will get someone killed. The woman takes the girl out while she makes deliveries around town, and they stop at a convenience store before heading back home. Inside the restroom, Phoenix here is washing her hands, but looks up to see this man staring at her. He introduces himself as Raven, and the girl is freaked out. But when she tries to leave, he blocks the exit. Lucky for her, the dog comes to her rescue, startling the man, and he backs away to let her through. But as she walks past him, he runs his finger through her hair, letting her know he'll be seeing her again very soon. Back in the van, she tells Hernandez about the truth in the restroom, but the two have no idea they're about to lead this man straight to the girl's bar. After dropping Phoenix off, the woman is driving back into town, which she finds the road is blocked by a truck. She honks the horn, but there's no response, and decides to get out of her van to find out what's going on. Approaching the vehicle, she asks the driver to move out of the way, only to find it's the same creep she saw earlier at the convenience store. Flashing her gun, she tells him to move off the road, and he says he will, but the man is acting suspicious as hell. Getting back into her van, she stows her gun in the glove box, but this was her biggest mistake. The woman is about to call the cops, when a man suddenly appears behind her and strangles her with a belt. She tries to break free, I look back and when I was a kid, my dad had these trophies, my brother had these trophies, and I was like, I always wanted one of those. And I remember the day I got it, I was just like, I finally got the trophy that I've seen everyone get. It was definitely like a, a point in my career where I was like, I can, I can do this for a living, you know? And that's when it all started for me pretty much. I couldn't have asked for a better life growing up here, you know, in Hawaii, and especially on North Shore. It just um, pretty much provided me with everything I needed to become what I wanted to be, which was a professional surfer. When you get, like, way to the winter or, like, an invite to the party, like, did your dad freak out or anything? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would imagine that's like, no. that's a big freaking deal. It says good job, boy. 
sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Bob. Okay, I've known Cole all his life, obviously. And uh, he's a good boy. He's a good man. He went from boy to man. And, uh, he was riding man right when he was a boy. And, uh, he's quiet, humble. I like it. You know, he can make trouble. He handles it when it comes to it. He grew up. You know, we have a dojo outside, so he knows to be a trouble guy. I'm proud of him because uh, he's a good role model for other kids. And the kids coming up right now. And, uh, he's got some fucking balls. I watch him on some of the waves and go, what the fuck are you doing, bro?